Okay, we continue our racing videos. I'm trying to do these videos as detailed as I can do them. Last video, we added these wheel colliders, which just contain the wheel colliders themselves. And now what we're going to do is add in a new folder right here. Make sure it's on empty and wheel meshes. We're going to add in some meshes. We're going to try to add the meshes anyway. And the best way of doing that is by making a prefab of this mesh right here. Since this is on 100 and it's not very convenient for us to do this. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to grab one of the wheels right here. I'm going to transform reset this. And as we can see now it's super small. And that's how it's supposed to be. But while importing, I guess something broke. So what we're going to do is create a new empty. Make sure this is on zero and make sure this one is on zero as well. So now if you make this a child of this, I'm just going to name this wheel. There we go. Now the wheel is on scale one, which should be on one. And this one can be 100 now. So now what we have is an actual usable wheel. There we go. So what we're going to do is take this wheel, drop it into the vehicle folder right here. Now we got the wheel prefab. So what I'm going to do is just delete this. And I think I have where the wheel should go. So as we can see in here, wheel, 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 and wheel. So these should be placed exactly where the wheel should sit like this. Yeah. Okay. That's where it should be. So what I'm going to do is just delete the meshes. And also what I'm going to do is make the scale one rotation on zero. And just the position has to stay the same. So now that we got the references of the wheels, what I'm going to do is just take this and drop it into the wheel meshes. So as we can see now, we don't have a single wheel. And that is okay. That is why we made this prefab right here. So I'll just drag this, drop it in here, and there we go. Now we have a perfectly placed wheel. So I'm going to do the same for each wheel. And I think I'm going to have an issue with the rotation. There we go. Yeah, we do have an issue with the rotation. So what I'll do is I'll just select these, go into pivot. And if I rotate them at 180, there we go. Now we have perfectly stable wheels okay so what i'm going to try and do in this video is i'll try to make these rotate the intended way actually which is actually super simple uh we're not going to end up using that because that is not very good usually the core wheels don't sit perfectly in 90 degrees a lot of wheels have a little bit of camber like this uh which actually make the car a little bit nicer in my opinion i don't know anyway uh we're gonna do the intended way and i think i have a script somewhere hidden okay i found the script i uh, i don't know if you're familiar with this script i found this on youtube somewhere i don't remember where this uses a enumerator on of drive type which we will be using but not this way we're gonna make it global so we can access it from anywhere we want and I think there should be, <clears> oh, <throat> uh, yeah, there it is. Uh, this is the simplest code that we're going to build so far. Uh, we're not going to use this exact code. I'm just repeating myself. We're not going to use this. But uh, we are going to use some parts of this code. So I'll open up my core engine. And actually... The best way of keeping ourselves even more cleaner than this is by adding these components as we did in the previous. So I'll just sort these a little bit better. So we have the rigid body, the core manager, and then we have the components. So the core will have a new script. And we'll call it wheels and there we go. I do apologize for the names. I can't think of better names. Okay, now that we got the core animator script, we're going to open it up 
and now we're going to try and work our way in here so usually actually no not usually uh if you remember the last video we used a car manager that manages the whole entire components in here so if we take a look at the core engine the core engine actually holds the wheels which is exactly what we need we need the wheels to read where the position of the wheels are and then we can place the wheel meshes so that's exactly what we're going to use we're going to access this core manager and then from the core manager we can access the core engine so easy as saying that we're just going to write core manager core manager there we go we need a start method into the start method we're going to write core manager get component core manager and if you don't understand what we, what we are writing right now don't even don't even worry uh, it's all going to make sense in just a little bit when we actually play the game uh, so for now we just have this reference in here we want to reference this core engine and we don't need an actual reference to this so we can just access it from here to here and uh, the next thing that we're going to need is the actual wheel meshes so we're going to do the similar way that we did the wheels in here so i'll just declare a public list you can actually declare a transform like this this is a array but it's not very useful so i'm just going to use a list instead and i'm going to use transforms instead of game objects because i don't need the whole, the whole entire game object i just need the position of it and uh we'll just call it wheel meshes there we go now we have the wheel meshes let's create a fixed update i do apologize for the keyboard and now since we have a fixed update let's create a new void method okay let's create a new void there we go now we have the animate reels we can just copy this piece of code paste it in here and let's see what we're missing okay so declaring a variable in here inside of a void method is not a very good idea so what i'm going to do is just drag this drop outside this is still a global variable so we can access it from here if we need it like this well as we can see it doesn't create any new errors which is good okay and if i'm not mistaken we are just we can just use a for each instead of a four because we don't need this i right here so instead of that I'm just gonna loop through this uh actually no not, not that's not a good idea okay let's keep the four the normal for loop for now and let's see what we are missing so the wheel colliders i think this reference is these so similarly to what i said earlier what we can do is just access the car manager so car manager dot wheels uh i don't know why i can't access this let me just see wheels wheels is a public variable Oh, the car manager. The car manager does not hold the car wheels. Okay, so let's declare a car engine. There we go. And to the start, after we get the car manager, we need the car engine. So car engine, car manager, dot car engine. There we go. We're just referencing our components like this, which makes it a little bit more cleaner to work. Okay, so... Now that we have the engine, we can just access core engine dot wheels in the index of i. And now it just gets the world post. This is what is going to change in the future, but for now it's, it's going to work like that. And we have the wheel mesh. Wheel mesh is. And I think, it, I think this should work fine. Let's see if it actually works. If I'm not mistaken, I should do a if statement right here for the rear wheels. But let's see if it works like this. So let's go back. Okay, 
we have the wheels. We have a new list. Let's grab the wheels, drop them in here, and let's hope for the best. Okay, we don't have a error, and let's see. It's not working. The reason why it's not working is because I forgot to call it in fixed update. Sorry about that. Okay, there we go. Now we have working wheels. Good thing is that it's working. Bad thing is it's not working very well. I think the reason why it's not working is because of the sorting or actually the yeah, the actual sorting. Let's see. The first wheel is the rear one and it should not be the rear one. It should be the front one. There we go. Here's our problem. This should be the first one. This should be the second to last one. Can't place it. This should be the actual last one. I can't place it. It's doing like this. This should be the first. This should be in here. This should be in here. This should be in here. Okay. And let's check this. So this is not the front, as we can see. These are the rear ones. So this should be here. Okay, this is supposed to be the sorting. And now let's fix this one more time. Okay, let's check this one more time. So we should have the exact same sorting as in here. It seems to be working fine right now. Let's check this out. Okay, that is actually perfect. I did not know I can do that. Let's try to move our car. Okay, it's moving perfectly well. Okay, the goal for this video has been achieved. Let's try to add in some steering right now. So the steering should be accessed from the wheel engine. So let's just create a steer vehicle. There we go. We have an empty method. Uh, similarly to what we did in here, what we're going to do is instead of a for each loop, we just need the, the front wheels. And actually, we have to use the Ackerman formula to, to get the, the steering the proper way. We're going to do that later. So for now, we're just going to move them. Uh, for this, we need a for loop instead of a for each loop. And we need to access the first two wheels. So I'm just going to set the two in here. And then in here, I'll just make sure that the wheels are greater than three. So let's do that check right now. Let's say if wheels dot count is greater than two. We're going to say flag is equal true however if it's not flag becomes false and we cannot run the car uh we could just do a print in here and tell the user why it's not moving so wheels let's just say not enough wheels like this there we go uh Okay, let's try to steer the, the the car. So, we have the for loop that goes from 0 to 2, and it should not reach 2, it should be 1. So, 0 to 1, which accesses the two front wheels. And now, since we have that, we need a global variable. Uh, let's try to sort this as well as I can. So, let's say load. Actually, no. Steering. Let's say public load 
steering angle. Okay. The steering angle should be steering angle is equal to input dot get horizontal. There we go. Uh, we should have we should have a modifier of this. Let's do another float. Let's say max steering, and let's say max steering. Actually, no, not max steering. We should have steering multiplier and then later we can cap this to a maximum value so steering multiplier times the input of the keyboard okay now that we have that we can just say wheels in the index of i dot steer angle is equal to steering angle i think this is going to work let's see okay I can also see right now. Let's add the multiplier to one. Okay, we can steer. So I'll more multiplying. It seems like it's working. Let's add some more multiplying. As we can see, we can snap the wheels. We're gonna have to add in a smooth damping function in here. But let's see if it actually works. If we check the collision right now, we're going to see that one of the wheels is always losing grip. And something is happening right now. I don't know what. I think it has to do with the center of the gravity. Let's really quickly add in a center of gravity. Uh, the way I'm going to add in the center of gravity is different this time. So I'll just add in a header in here center of gravity and this time we'll add in a public vector 3 this will be local by the way so vector 3 center of mass in the start I'm just going to define the center of mass so center of mass actually no we need the rigid body we don't have a reference to the rigid body so let's add in a rigid body, rigid body, let's make this a public, because we're going to need to reference this from other scripts, okay, let's get the rigid body, let's say public, actually no, rigid body, get component, rigid body, there we go, we have a rigid body, Rigid body dot center of mass is equal to center of mass. So now one way that we are going to see where the actual center of mass is, is by using a gizmos. So on gizmos selected, what I'm going to do is I'll just uh, gizmos dot draw wire sphere. The sphere will be drawn exactly where the center of mass is. And the one problem that in here is that the center of mass is global. I think that might give us a problem. Let's see. Center of mass. Let's make the radius 0.4. And let's see now. Okay. We have a center of mass. Let's try to lower this down. Like this. Okay. Now, if this works correctly, the car should not sway as much. Let's try to steer. Okay, it's a lot more stable. Okay. This is what we wanted. Uh, I'll, I'll try to add in a handbrake because I keep pressing space and it's not, it's not doing anything. This video is already too long. Uh, we'll continue building this game in the future. 